In this tutorial, we're going to look at some mouse utilities that you get with Microsoft's Power Toys uh, that helps you if you're doing uh, software demos or webinars or whatnot. So let's look at a few of the features. So first thing I'll show is if you're using the mouse in Windows, uh, if you go into your mouse properties, uh, you can see here if you go to your pointer options, there's a feature here that says show location of pointer when I press control. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that and apply it. So a lot of times when I'm doing webinars, for example, if I'm doing a tutorial like this, I want to highlight where I'm at on the screen. So I might say if you draw your attention over here and I move my mouse, you know, sometimes the mouse is hard to find or see, or you know, people aren't quite sure where they need to look at. So if I press the control key twice, it it lets me or control key, you can see that it's showing me. So I kind of do that when I'm doing webinars or, or tutorial like this, right? So you got that already built in there. Um, I do like, I'm going to turn this off. I do like this new utility that comes with the um, power toys. And so there's a few different things you can do. I'm going to go ahead and do one at a time. So we can enable find my mouse. This kind of works the same way instead of pressing the control key and getting that kind of uh, circle. You're going to get like a little spotlight effect. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on here. So when I turn that on, you can see it says press left control twice or you can shake your mouse. I find shaking the mouse a little bit annoying. You can change the the um, color scheming and whatnot that you want to do in there. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So if I'm doing my tutorial and I say, OK, I want to focus on this area, I just hit control twice and you see I get this little spotlight effect and then it fades away. And you can change the look and feel of that. Um, basically, you're just creating this like opaque overlay. So you can change the background colors. You might want to brand it. You can change the overlay opacity here. And then you can also change the uh, colors and then the radius if you want to. And this is kind of the zooming effect. I kind of try to keep everything a little bit more subtle. And once I'm doing moving my mouse, it's going to slowly fade away. And again, you can set all that. Great little feature. As you can see, it works really great when you're doing tutorials. I'm going to turn that off. The next feature you have is down here is the mouse highlighter. So I'm going to turn this on. So you can see there's some activation shortcut here, window shift H. And then basically when I click the left mouse button, it's going to have this color. And if I click the right mouse button, it's going to have this color. And you can see there's some other options in here. So uh, let me look at how that would work. So I'm going to do Windows Shift H and that should activate it. Now I'm going to uh, let's go to the storyline. So I'm going to show you how to do something on storyline. I'm clicking and you can see when I click when I say OK, let's go to insert and you can see how it highlights the click. We're going to go to button and then we're going to insert a button and then we're going to draw the button on the screen. So you can see how that works. Now if I want to right click, I just right click and you can see, I don't know how well that showed up, but when I right click you can see it's a slightly different color there. So if you're trying to highlight things, basically it just highlights where you're clicking. So when I left click, right click, and that's kind of how that works. Uh, so that might come in handy if you're doing uh, tutorials and whatnot as well. And then let's look at this last one. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. The last one is kind of like a crosshair. I don't know how useful this is, but it might be useful in certain types of circumstances. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then you've got your Control Alt P. That's what I'm going to select. And then you can see here I can also change the behaviors uh, and, and the way that looks. So let's see what it looks like. Control Alt P. Let's go to Storyline what's a little brighter. Uh, Control Alt P and you can see you've got a crosshair. So that might come in handy if you're looking at something. I kind of find it a little bit distracting, but again, it's one of the features in there. So you might like that and you can change the um, the settings on there as well. So Control, what is it? Control Alt P. Let's turn it off and then let's come back to the power toy. So three different ways that you can Highlight your mouse, perfect for doing tutorials like this, perfect for doing webinars or even presentations when you're trying to show things. I don't probably use any of these except for the Find My Mouse. I just really like the way 
uh, like the way that works and how it looks and then it's got a nice subtle effect and then when I'm done it fades away. Hopefully that helps you and it's something that you can use.